Hey my loves, hey my loves. Welcome to Brianna's Inner Goddess Awakening, your sacred space for tarot reading, spiritual enlightenment, and transformation guidance. Join me on a journey of self-discovery, empowerment, and spiritual growth as I share my life lessons and teachings to awaken the inner goddess within. Hi! Let's get into it. Hey, my love. So today... Today is Sacred Sunday. We're doing divine messages from your ancestors, your spirit guides, you know, whomever you believe in. Y'all have to work with me. Listen, listen, listen. Okay, so I'm currently living out of a hotel. So my recordings are not as great as they used to be because you probably hear the TV, you probably hear the neighbors, the kids, just all type of stuff. Y'all listen, listen, listen. Y'all work with me. It's, I'm going to get better. <laughs> um, I will find some type of way to, um, you know, kind of take out the background. If that's possible, I will look into some things, you know, I'll see what I can do. But if I can't, y'all just going to have to get it right and uncut. You know what I'm saying? Just deal, just deal with me. Work with me. You hear? You hear me? Okay. And another thing, um... That could be something that your ancestors want you to know. You are in a situation right now to adapt and then overcome. Okay, a lot of you guys are complaining. Why do I need to go to the situ go through this situation? I have been through this situation before. I'm tired of going through this. It seems like you know I'm always going through rough things. Nobody's there for me, but I'm always there for them. Spirit is saying you're going through what you're going through for a reason. Okay. Everything you go through is a lesson, you know, it's, everything is a lesson, but it also can um, help you teach others, okay? You cannot help nobody if you don't understand what they're going through or what they have been through. You get what I'm saying? So a lot of my prophets, my healers, you know, you know, mediums, all of us, the great ones, have been through a lot within their life, and it wasn't to harm them or to make them feel better anyway or shun them. It was only to help them to understand you're going to be helping, you know, society, you know, mankind. And for you to help mankind, you have to understand what they feel, what they go through, what it feels like to do it with this or that. You know what I'm saying? You cannot, you know, coach nobody else through it if you yourself have not been through it. You get what I'm saying? So... Spirit is saying you have to overcome. You know, you have to, you know, do what you got to do and then oh, so you can overcome it. You have to stop talking about it as if it's a bad thing or else or if God is um, condemning you, you know, God, spirit, source, universe, whoever you believe in, Allah, you know, whomever your God is, you know, you can't look at it as if, you know, they made a mistake or they're making you go through hardships. You have to look at it as when I get through this, because I will go get through this, because I got through everything else, then I will be blessed. You get what I'm saying? And not only would I be blessed within, you know, all the material things I want and the wisdom, oh my God, the wisdom that I want and the strength that I desire, but I'm also going to be blessed with different um, lessons so that, that way I can go back and teach others, you know? I can be more of, um, I can be more helpful to mankind, okay? So we're going to start it off with that. Y'all, let's get into the oracle. I only do Oracle for um, for Sacred Sunday and Soulful Saturday. We only do Oracle cards, okay? Because it's actually, you know, however. Let's get into it, y'all. Okay, so let's see what we got coming out. Balance career in home life. Retreat into nature. Drink more water. Oh, Sean, coming through for the one time. Yes. Clear and shelter your energy. Yes. Okay. Quiet time. Take some quiet time alone to rest, meditate, and come. Oh, wait a minute. Be strong, Lord. This is everything that I just said. Sounds it up. And here go the Oracle cards bagging up everything I just said. 
Be strong. You are stronger than you think you are. And your strength assures a happy outcome. Period. Start. Ooh. Wait a minute, wait a minute. Ask others, including me, to help you instead of trying to do everything by yourself. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. In the wisdom. God is at lean. My Greek goddess, I love her. Listen, she came out for you, baby. So you might be saying a lot of owls. Listen, you know what to do. Trust your inner wisdom and take appropriate action without delay. Yes. Liberation. Speak up. Season. Oh, alignment. You, the alignment card came out for you. Listen, so basically what Spirit is trying to tell you is everything that you are manifesting, you're praying for, or you desire is coming to you. What they need for you to do is endure, okay? I'm going to take it back because I know a lot of people that listen to me, um, of course, you know, are spiritual, but I'm diverse, Um you know, because I went from being a Christian to being spiritual. So I can basically relate to a lot of people. Um, you know how the uh, pastor used to say, weeping the doors for a night, but joy comes in the morning. Okay? That's basically the same situation. You're enduring hardship now. But when you get to the level that spirit wants you to be at, it's going to be worth the wait. You get what I'm saying? So I had to do that because some people, you know, are different. I don't like to really go into deep into it, but we all believe in different things. That's fine. I still love everybody. So let me just break it out to you so you can understand what I'm saying. Um, numbers 41, 1, 33, and 37. Okay, uh, 33 is definitely a master number. So um, look that angel number up, okay? What else, Spirit? Anything else, Spirit? What else? Spirit is saying you need to get more sun time. Um, be in the sun more often. Stop overthinking. Stop overanalyzing. And if you can't clear your mind or you don't like meditating, Spirit is saying start writing down things. Anything else, Spirit? Okay. All right. So let's read your um, healing cards. Okay. A new opening. When one door closes, I am confident another will open and it will be for my betterment. I accept that life brings challenges and acknowledge the opportunities and learning they present to me. Serenity comes from within me. I allow serenity to re. <laughs> God, all this stuff is coming back. Listen, the love I have for myself, I invite harmony to settle within my being. I listen to to honor and strive to fulfill the needs of my soul. All this is coming back into each other. Y'all, when I was telling y'all that, I was really just, you know, speaking on what was on my mind at the time. And look at these cards just came right on through for me. Actions. My divine actions. Ooh, my divine actions and love turn into harmony. I am aware of my thoughts and driving by positive force. I listen to my heart, my desires to manifest light, trans- transfers, tests into growth, <laughs> challenge into opportunity, and fear into love. Choice. I choose serenity, light, and positive energy no matter what I go through. I choose happiness. I rise above fear and and direct my thoughts to God. Listen, oh, and I just came, something just came to mind. A lot of you guys have been um, asking me, am I going to do guided meditations or am I just going to do, um, you know, uh, healing music? Well, using my own voice with affirmations playing, yes, I will. A lot of you guys say that you like my voice. My voice um, is very calming and relaxing, so that's something to look forward to because I will be doing those soon. Okay, love you. Bye. 
Thank you for tuning in to Brianna's Inner Goddess Awakening. May you carry the wisdom, light, and guidance from our time together into your own spiritual journey. Remember, your inner goddess, guiding, goddess, <laughs> is always within you, guiding you towards love, truth, and transformation. Until we meet again, and bless be. Bye, babies.